Hey guys, uh, just hoping to be with you all one more week this week. It's supposed to be our last week, uh, but the coronavirus had other plans, so we'll just do it this way. Uh, from the Parker family, we would like to say that we will love you all. We love you all, and we will miss you all, and that we hope our paths will cross cross again someday soon. Uh, Pastor Barry had asked me to give a testimony about our trip last week to Moldova and I wanted to share a little bit about that experience um, overall it was a wonderful experience uh, it, people were really welcoming and very hospitable and we had good food and good music and it was great you know um, but the other part of it was I <laughs> experienced every range of emotions this week it was kind of exhausting just mentally to process it all at the end of the day all the things that you had seen and heard and the stories of people and the poverty and the, the goodness of people and um, the goodness of God and the, the work that he did there was just overwhelming emotionally um, but it's very cool to see and would recommend anybody go if you can um, if you have the opportunity so we had um, some highlights, I think, of the week were just the way that the people, even in their poverty, you know, they just were so welcoming uh, to us. They were very, they wanted to, they were very proud. They wanted to uh, they offer us whatever they had, uh, bread or water or juice. Uh, if they didn't have anything to offer us, they apologized. They apologized for the condition of their home. Um, many of them cried the whole time we were there. It was just very uh, humbling. And um, <clears throat> I think that for me, it was just really cool to see God at work. Um, one lady said, I had a dream that you guys, that somebody was coming to visit me that I couldn't go to sleep. God was telling me that someone was coming to visit today and so I was excited about that and so and she was you know bedridden and nobody came to visit her and I think um, more than the food and more than the firewood that they just really longed for the fellowship that they didn't have um, many of them had nobody to visit them and they were just in very poor living conditions and so it was very very hard um, but they you know, we were able to show them the love of God and tell them we loved them and God loved them and give them a hug. And that's something that many of them may have never had or had in a very long time. And so it was it was wonderful to see. And many, um, many were very receptive to hearing the gospel and who um, prayed to receive Christ. And that was really cool to see God just kind of working through us um, to reach them. And... Um, I think so those are some of the highlights and then one of the things that I kind of took away from the week was the last night um, Pastor Jim he's an IBC pastor in Milan and he spoke on James chapter 2 about um, the passage where it talks about faith without works is dead and how you know Satan and the demons believe in God and it makes them tremble so believing in God is not always enough. You know, he was showing that if you aren't a tree that's bearing fruit, then you're not doing what God is asking of you. You know, you can't just simply say, oh, I believe and be a Christian. It's, it's about, it's a, you know, a mixture of the works and the, and the faith, um, faith without works is dead. And it just really struck home to me, even being on a mission trip and just saying, and he talked about, just living free in your Christianity, if you really got a hold of what Christ did for you and what he has done in your life, then you wouldn't, you would live differently. You would live like you were a changed person. And so he really challenged us and challenged me personally to live like that, to um, not be ashamed of the gospel and and to share it with everyone and just to be free and in, in our uh, in our Christianity, and so uh, I challenge you to do the same thing. And um, you know, there's plenty of work to do right there at Aviano Baptist Church. Uh, you guys know, and um, if you haven't 
if you haven't gotten involved and jumped in, then do it, and uh, you'll see how God will will change your life and work through you. That's all for now. See you later.